Hello there. Today we are going to be focusing on definitions with emphasis on adjustment and payment types. The context that this information will be presented under is for an office that has recently gone through the conversion process from another software. The adjustment and payment types are of particular importance here as it is common for offices that use other software to handle their refunds or write-offs with adjustments but we will be handling these in a different way using Open Dental. Definitions is an area of the program for customizing many different areas of your database. In terms of options that appear in lists and color schemes for these areas, there are many options to work with in this area, but today we are going to go over specific definitions. Account Prox Quick Add, Adjustment Types, Appointment Prox Quick Add, insurance payment types, and payment types. So in order to access these, we are going to start by going up to our setup drop-down menu and clicking on definitions. So as you can see, this is a pretty significantly sized list, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the account prox quick add. And right now I don't have any setup, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So a basic way to describe what this definition does is it gives you the ability to quickly charge certain procedure codes to a patient's account. And this is normally used for any products that you may want to sell at the counter, such as a special toothpaste, toothbrush, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one right now and show you how it works. So you'll notice that out of my options here, once there is a list of options, uh, I can rearrange the list or alphabetize. I can hide options that are no longer in use. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that add button. And this allows me to name the uh, quick add button. In this case, I'll just say toothbrush. And I'm just gonna throw a random procedure code on here. There, but you can use this for any coding in the system, including any that you have created yourself. So we can go ahead and hit okay listed there. I can double click to come back in if I need to make any edits. But now that that's been created, I can hop over to my account module. And then from the toolbar up here, I can use the quick prox dropdown and toothbrush is listed here. And when I click on it, it charges that to the patient's account. And that gives us a nice way to uh, add those charges on as needed. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and move over to adjustment types. So same as before, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my setup dropdown menu, go definitions. And this is a pretty common way for the adjustment types to look post conversion. Uh, as mentioned before, a lot of offices tend to use uh, adjustments for their refunds or write-offs. Uh, for in insurance or for patients. We're going to want to not do that here. We're going to look for any options that uh, fall under those descriptors and make sure that they are no longer in use because we have different ways of handling those particular items. So like here, for example, an insurance payment, we're not going to want to use that as an adjustment. So if we go ahead and mark that as hidden, that makes it so that that is no longer presented as an option when we are going to make an adjustment. And just to show where that comes full circle, we can close out of here. We can go to the adjustment button on the toolbar. And because this is a fairly detailed part of the program, we do have a separate webinar specific to the adjustments uh, themselves. So we do recommend looking into that and we can include the link uh, in the description below for that. And so if we look through the additions or subtractions, we see all of the remaining options listed for being able to adjust the balance as we would like to. From here, we can go ahead and look at the appointment prox quick add. And this is similar to the account prox in that you can assign something to be quickly and readily available so that there's less work involved when we need to use it. 
So for example, if I go in to create an appointment, so I'll double click on my schedule here, I'll confirm the patient. This just shows uh, appointment history. We'll hit the create new appointment. This brings us to the actual appointment window itself where we can edit those details. And in the middle here, we'll see where we have this single click list. And this is where we can assign a or multiple procedure codes to be available. So if I want to go ahead and click on one of these, it charts and attaches those procedures to this appointment. So I've just charted five procedures and attached them here with a single click. So that's a nice quick way to be able to create an appointment with a set of procedures that are used regularly. Say if it's a new patient special or something to that effect. So if we go under our setup, go back to definitions, and we look at appointment procs quick add here, we can see where the one that I just used is listed. There are additional options. We can see here where there is the opportunity to edit existing. So same as before, if I double click, I'm able to modify the name. I'm able to modify the codes that are attached. Uh, it is worth noting that there is no space after the comma when listing multiple codes. So be cognizant of uh, keeping those grouped together if we are gonna be creating any so that the system can read them properly and it works as expected. And that's gonna bring us over to insurance payment types. So when we are receiving an insurance payment, we are wanting to indicate what type of financial instrument was used by insurance to pay the office. We can go ahead and go back under our definitions list. We're gonna get real familiar with where that is on our list. And if we go under insurance payment types here, you see the common suspects. You see check payment, electronic funds transfer, you see credit card. So uh, you can add or be more specific with the options if you would like. It is uh, not uncommon for offices to list specific credit card providers so you can uh, keep easier track of perhaps MasterCard usage versus Visa for determining what cards you would like to take in the office. So you can really get more specific with the different methods of payment. Uh, you can also indicate if you would not like that payment to be included in your deposit slips. That is another function in the program that helps with uh, keeping accounting straight and corresponding with the bank account. So this is a way to make sure that, uh, say your electronic methods, such as the credit cards or the EFTs, that uh, those are not included in the deposit slips, which are typically more reserved for your physical items, such as a check or uh, cash money. So this is the area that is specific to the insurance payment types, as those are received in one area of the system. And then in another area of the system, we have the option of the patient payment types, in this case, just called payment types. Uh, but this is where you can, same as before, be very specific to the methods of payment that you're receiving. If you want to be very uh, uh, intent on sorting out which credit card types or methods of payment, anything along those lines. Uh, for example, we have here uh, a couple of items that might have been left over after a conversion. So as mentioned before, we're going to uh, want for things such as a refund to be included in this area rather than the adjustments. So this is where you may be shuffling some of those uh, what were adjustment types into now payment types. So that covers this area. All of these uh, definitions have the same basic menu here as far as adding and what you uh, detail you would enter into this area. But that more or less covers uh, the walkthrough of how these areas work. Uh, included in the description of this video, we are also going to include the manual pages that correspond to each of the areas that we just covered for any additional detail that you may wish to uh, inspect in there. But for now, uh, it was my pleasure working with you and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.